In mathematics, specifically, in differential equations, the Picard Lindelof theorem, Picard's existence theorem, Cauchy Lipschitz theorem, or existence and uniqueness theorem gives a set of conditions under which an initial value problem has a unique solution. The theorem is named after Emile Picard, Ernst Lindelof, Rudolf Lipschitz, and Augustin Louis Cauchy. Consider the initial value problem Y T equals F T Y T Y T zero equals Y zero Display style y t equals f t y t q quad y t underscore zero equals y underscore zero. Suppose f is uniformly Lipschitz continuous in y, meaning the Lipschitz constant can be taken independent of t and continuous in t. Then, for some value epsilon greater than zero, there exists a unique solution y t to the initial value problem on the interval t zero minus epsilon t. Zero plus epsilon display style t underscore zero var epsilon t underscore zero plus var epsilon. Topic proof sketch. The proof relies on transforming the differential equation, and applying fixed-point theory. By integrating both sides, any function satisfying the differential equation must also satisfy the integral equation y t minus y t 0 equals T zero T F S Y S D S Display style Y T Y T underscore zero equals int underscore T underscore zero carrot T F S Y S D S a simple proof of existence of the solution is obtained by successive approximations. In this context, the method is known as Picard iteration. Set phi 0 t equals y 0 Display style var phi underscore zero t equals y underscore zero and phi k plus one t equals y zero plus t zero t F S Phi K S D S Display style bar phi underscore k plus one t equals y underscore zero plus int underscore t underscore zero carrot t f s bar phi underscore k s d s it can then be shown, by using the Banach fixed point theorem, that the sequence of Picard iterates phi k is convergent and that the limit is a solution to the problem. An application of Gronwall's lemma to phi t minus psi t, where phi and psi are two solutions, shows that phi t equals psi t, thus proving the global uniqueness the local uniqueness as a consequence of the uniqueness of the Banach fixed point
equals topic example equals let y t equals tan t display style y t equals tan t and t 0 equals 0 display style t underscore 0 equals 0 so y equals 1 plus y 2 y 0 equals 0 phi 0 t equals 0 phi k plus 1 t equals 0 t 1 plus phi k s 2 d s Display style y equals one plus y carrot two y underscore zero equals zero barfi underscore zero t equals zero barfi underscore k plus one t equals int underscore zero carrot t one plus barfi underscore k s carrot two d s and phi n T Y T Display style Varfi underscore N T to Y T Phi one T equals zero T one plus zero two D S equals T display style varphi underscore one T equals int underscore zero carrot T one plus zero carrot two D S equals T Phi two T equals zero T one plus T two D S equals T plus T three three Display style varphi underscore two t equals int underscore zero carrot t one plus t carrot two d s equals t plus frac t carrot three three phi three t equals zero t one plus T plus T three three two D S equals T plus T three three plus two T Five fifteen plus T seven sixty three. 
Display style barf the underscore three T equals int underscore zero carrot T one plus T plus FRAC T carrot three three carrot two DS equals T plus FRAC T carrot three three plus FRAC two T carrot five fifteen plus FRAC T carrot seven sixty three and so on. This is calculating the series expansion of tan display style tan. An alternative method is to use Bernoulli's numbers. Topic: <inaudible> Intuitive understanding of the theorem. The idea behind the theorem is the following. A differential equation can possess a stationary point. For example, for the equation di, dt. Topic I the stationary solution is y, t. 0, which is obtained for the initial condition y, 0. Topic zero. Beginning with another initial condition y zero. Y zero does not equal zero. The stationary solution is reached after an infinite time, and therefore the uniqueness of solution is guaranteed. However, if the stationary solution is reached after a finite time, the uniqueness is violated. This happens for example for the equation di, dt. Topic I two thirds, the solution corresponding to the initial condition y o o can be either y t equals zero or y t equals a t three three t o o t zero. Display style y t equals begin cases left t f r a c at three right caret three and t one can note that the function f y. Topic Y two thirds has an infinite slope at Y zero and therefore is not Lipschitz continuous. The Lipschitz continuity condition rules out this type of differential equation. Topic <laughs> Detailed proof Let C A B equals I A T zero times B B Y zero Display style c underscore a b equals overline i underscore a t underscore zero times overline b underscore b y underscore zero, where i a t zero equals t zero minus a T zero plus A B B Y zero equals Y zero minus B Y zero plus B display style begin aligned overline I underscore A T underscore zero and equals T underscore zero A T underscore zero plus A overline B underscore B Y underscore zero and equals Y underscore zero B Y underscore zero plus B end a Aligned. This is the compact cylinder where f is defined. 
let m equals sup c a b f display style m equals sup underscore c underscore a b f. This is the maximum slope of the function in modulus. Finally, let l be the Lipschitz constant of f with respect to the second variable. We will proceed to apply Banach fixed point theorem using the metric on c i a t 0 b b y 0 Display style math call c i underscore a t underscore zero b underscore b y underscore zero induced by the uniform norm phi infinity equals sub t element of i a phi T display style var phi underscore in a t equals sub underscore t in i underscore a var phi t. We define an operator between two functional spaces of continuous functions, Picard's operator, as follows: gamma c i a t zero B B Y zero C I A T zero B B Y zero Display style gamma math call c i underscore a t underscore zero b underscore b y underscore zero long right arrow math call c i underscore a t underscore zero b underscore b y underscore zero defined by gamma phi t equals Y zero plus T zero T F S Phi S D S Display style gamma var phi t equals y underscore zero plus int underscore t underscore zero caret t f s var phi s d s. We must show that this operator maps a complete non-empty metric space X into itself and also as a contraction mapping. We first show that, given certain restrictions on a display style of gamma display style gamma takes b e y 0 display style overline b underscore epsilon y underscore 0 into itself in the space of continuous functions with uniform norm here b E Y zero display style overline b underscore epsilon y underscore zero is a closed ball in the space of continuous and bounded functions centered at the constant function y zero display style y underscore zero Hence we need to show that phi 1 infinity b display style var phi underscore 1 underscore in a t l e q b implies gamma phi t minus y 0 
equals T zero T F S Phi S D S T zero T F S Phi S D S M T minus T zero M A B Display style left gamma var phi t y underscore zero right equals left int underscore t underscore zero carrot t f s v a r p h i s d s right l e q int underscore t underscore zero carrot t left f s var phi s right d s l e q m left T T underscore zero right L E Q ma L E Q B where T display style T is some number in T zero minus A T zero plus a display style T underscore zero A T underscore zero plus A where the maximum is achieved. The last step is true if we impose the requirement and now let's try to prove that this operator is a contraction. Given two functions phi 1, phi 2 element of C I A T 0, B B, Y 0 display style varphi underscore 1, varphi underscore 2 in math call C I underscore A T underscore 0, B underscore B, Y underscore 0. In order to apply the Banach fixed point theorem, we want gamma phi 1 minus gamma phi 2 infinity q phi 1 minus phi 2 infinity display style left gamma bar phi underscore 1 gamma bar phi underscore 2 right underscore in a t l e q q left bar phi underscore 1 bar phi underscore 2 right underscore in a t for some q so let t be such that gamma phi 1 Minus gamma phi two infinity equals gamma phi one minus gamma phi two t Display style gamma bar phi underscore one gamma bar phi underscore two underscore in a t equals left left gamma bar phi underscore one gamma bar phi underscore two right t right. Then using the definition of gamma gamma phi one minus gamma phi Two T equals T zero T F S Phi one S minus F S Phi two S D S T zero T F S Phi one S minus F S Phi two S D S L T zero T Phi one S minus Phi two S D 
S F is Lipschitz continuous L A phi one minus phi two Infinity display style begin aligned left left gamma varphi underscore one gamma varphi underscore two right t right and equals left int underscore t underscore zero carrot t left f s varphi underscore one s f s varphi underscore two s right d s right and l e q int underscore t underscore zero carrot t left F left S Barfi underscore one S right F left S Barfi underscore two S right right D S and L E Q L int underscore T underscore zero carrot T left Barfi underscore one S Barfi underscore two S right D S and an F text is Lipschitz continuous and L E Q la left Barfi underscore one Barfi underscore two Right underscore in a t end aligned. This is a contraction if a we have established that the Picard's operator is a contraction on the Banach spaces with the metric induced by the uniform norm. This allows us to apply the Banach fixed point theorem to conclude that the operator has a unique fixed point. In particular, there is a unique function phi element of C i a t zero b b y zero display style bar phi in math call C i underscore a t underscore zero b underscore b y underscore zero such that G P H equals phi. This function is the unique solution of the initial value problem, valid on the interval Ia where a satisfies the condition a min b m one per liter. Display style a. Topic: Optimization of the solutions interval. Nevertheless, there is a corollary of the Banach fixed point theorem that states that if an operator Tn is a contraction for some n in n, then T has a unique fixed point. We will try to apply this theorem to the Picard's operator. But before doing that, let us recall a lemma that will be very useful to apply the aforementioned corollary. Lemma Gamma M phi one minus gamma M phi two L M alpha M M phi one minus phi two Display style left gamma carrot m varphi underscore one gamma carrot m varphi underscore two right l e q f r a c l carrot m alpha carrot m m left varphi underscore one varphi underscore two right proof. We will prove this by induction. For the base of the induction m equals 1 we have already seen this, so suppose the inequality holds for m minus 1, then we have gamma m phi 1 minus gamma m phi 2 equals gamma Gamma M minus one Phi one minus Gamma Gamma M minus one Phi two T zero T F S gamma M 
minus one phi one S minus F S gamma M minus one phi two S D S L T zero T gamma M minus one phi one S minus gamma M minus one phi two S D S L M Alpha M M phi one minus phi two display style begin aligned left gamma carrot M varphi underscore one gamma carrot M varphi underscore two right and equals left gamma gamma carrot M one varphi underscore one gamma gamma carrot M one varphi underscore two right and leq left int underscore t underscore zero carrot t left f left S gamma carrot M one Varfi underscore one S right F left S gamma carrot M one Varfi underscore two S right right D S right end LEQL left int underscore T underscore zero carrot T left gamma carrot M one Varfi underscore one S gamma carrot M one Varfi underscore two S right D S right end LEQ F RAC L carrot M alpha carrot M M left Varfi underscore one Varfi underscore two right end aligned therefore taking into account this inequality we can assure that for some M large enough L M alpha M M one display style FRAC L carrot M alpha carrot M M and hence gamma M will be a contraction. So by the previous corollary gamma will have a unique fixed point. So, finally, we have been able to optimize the interval of the solution by taking alpha equals min a, b, m. The importance of this result is that the interval of definition of the solution does eventually not depend on the Lipschitz constant of the field, but essentially depends on the interval of definition of the field and its maximum absolute value of it. Other existence theorems The Picard Lindelof theorem shows that the solution exists and that it is unique. The Peano existence theorem shows only existence, not uniqueness, but it assumes only that F is continuous in Y, instead of Lipschitz continuous. For example, the right hand side of the equation di, dt. Y one third with initial condition Y zero zero is continuous but not Lipschitz continuous. Indeed, rather than being unique, this equation has three families of solutions. Y T equals zero Y T equals plus or minus two three T minus a three two Display style y t equals zero q quad y t equals p m left t f r a c two three t a right caret f r a c three two where a display style a 
is any non-negative real number, even more general as Carathéodory's existence theorem, which proves existence in a more general sense under weaker conditions on F. Although these conditions are only sufficient, there also exist necessary and sufficient conditions for the solution of an initial value problem to be unique, such as Okamura's theorem. Topic. See also Frobenius theorem, differential topology, integrability conditions for differential systems. Equals equals notes. <laughs>